let us move ahead and now what we do is we take up question number 4 a very very important question let us read this question first the cost and selling price structure of the product is as below variable cost per unit is given as rupees 60 and fixed cost per unit is also given as rupees 60 so aggregate of these two is given as full cost per unit as rupees 120 add profit per unit that is rupees 30 and selling price per unit will be rupees 150 presently the company sells 24000 units every year with credit period of 30 days the cost of capital for the company is 24% per annum currently the bad debts are 1% of total sales further informed in the question the company is expected to extend the credit period to 45 days, 60 days or 90 days. The following implications are expected. They have given annual sales quantity and bad debts as a percentage of total sales for all those three proposals. So this time we have three proposals to evaluate. Advise the company regarding appropriate credit period to be allowed to customers. Consider 360 days in the year friends uh, generally when we are making calculation of uh, the average amount of funds blocked we always have been observing that it is given in terms of number of months that is credit period is given in terms of number of months but here we have found that credit period is given in number of days in absence of any specific information anyone would have taken 365 days in the year but because the question is specifically asking you to consider 360 days in the year you should simply do that now the main crux in this question is not at this part the main crux in the question is over here look at this information the fixed cost is given in terms of per unit and presently the company is selling 24,000 units so 24,000 units multiplied by rupees 60 that will give you the current amount of fixed cost with the change in the sales volume the fixed cost will not change that precaution you will have to consider and with the change in the volume the variable cost will proportionately change so right now it is rupees 60 per unit into 24,000 units at later stage when you are having increased sales you will have 25,000 units multiplied by rupees 60 as variable cost 30,000 units multiplied by 60 as variable cost 36,000 units multiplied by rupees 60 as variable cost in each column the variable cost will be in proportion to the sales volume but you should take precaution that the fixed cost should not change and thereafter you just end up comparing the profitability of the four columns that will be present and then three proposals that will be proposal one proposal two and proposal three so let us look into how to present the solution for this question in the solution this time again you will write the title as comparative profitability statement and this time there will be four columns one for the present policy and there will be three columns for the three different proposals credit period 30 days 45 days 60 days and 90 days total sales and thereafter the total variable cost total variable cost is changing with the changes in the volume but the total fixed cost what is given in the present column will remain as it is so cost of goods sold for each column then additional cost of collection and cost of funds blocked of course I am going to show you detailed working of these four figures okay and the bad debts no other information given in the question so net benefit will be as usual a minus b minus c minus d and once you get this whole thing noted down I will show you the working note for computing the cost of funds blocked other things I am sure you can easily understand how these figures have been arrived at let us move ahead and now take up the working notes with respect to cost of funds blocked at present so funds blocked at present will be 
the cost of goods sold at present that is 28 lakh 80 thousand multiplied by 30 by 360 mind it the question has asked you to consider 360 days in the year and the funds blocked at present is coming to 2 lakh 40 thousand cost of funds to the company is 24 percent so you take 24 percent of 2 lakh 40 thousand that works out to 57 thousand 600 now the cost of funds blocked as per proposal 1, proposal 2 and proposal 3 we can show in one line by revising the amount of cost of goods sold for each proposal taking the revised credit period divided by 360 days and then multiplying 24 percent to that. So, let me show you what it comes for proposal 1 88,200 for proposal 2 it is working out to 1,29,600. So let us move ahead and continue writing further cost of funds blocked for proposal 3. When you make the calculation, it will work out to rupees 2,16,000. And now you may write the conclusion implementing any of the proposals 2 or 3 is resulting into increased profits as compared to the present level. However, Profits can be maximized by implementing proposal 3 of 90 days credit. The company should extend the credit to 90 days. This will increase the overall profit by rupees 4,17,600. Let us move ahead and take up the next question that is question number 5. Let us read this question. A manufacturing company currently produces and sells 30,000 units of its product. The company currently offers credit period of 2 months and is facing bad debts at 5% of total sales. The selling price per unit is rupees 210. The variable cost per unit is rupees 120 and full cost per unit is rupees 180. Look at one thing. They have given you variable cost per unit as 120 at present and full cost per unit is 180. That is an implication that full cost is aggregate of variable and fixed correct. So, if full cost per unit is 180 where variable cost per unit is 120. So, what will be the amount of fixed cost per unit obviously 180 minus 120 that will be rupees 60 per unit. Now, rupees 60 per unit when multiplied to the current sales quantity I am using my calculator that is uh, 60 multiplied by 30,000 units I get 18 lakhs as the amount of total fixed cost at present. Now, whether sales reduce or sales increase either way your overall fixed cost will never change. Are we on agreement with that point that the overall fixed cost will not change that is why it is called fixed cost. While you were attempting the previous question the question informed you the variable cost per unit and the fixed cost per unit aggregate of that was given as full cost per unit. In this question they did not give you any information about fixed cost over here. They have instead given the full cost per unit and the variable cost per unit. So, it is implied that full cost per unit 180 minus variable cost per unit as 120 that will give you fixed cost per unit as rupees 60 and 60 multiplied to the current sales quantity of 30,000 units will give you total fixed cost as 18 lakhs and that will not change irrespective of the change in sales volume. Let us read further. It says the finance manager is worried about the bad debt losses that is arising and proposes to reduce the credit period to just one month. This will reduce the bad debt to just 1% of total sales. However, because of credit period reduction there will be slight decline in sales such decline will be by 10 percent. So, have you noticed one thing whenever we increase the credit period we generally find that the sales are increasing 
in response to the increase of credit period because few more customers who will now be willing to buy the company's product because of increased credit period will now start purchasing the product and that will increase your sales. Inversely, if you try to reduce the credit period from two months to one month, suppose one of the customer who is not able to make the payment within one month time will need two months time of credit. If you are changing your policy, that customer will not purchase goods from you and that is where you will have reduction in your sales as compared to what is happening at present. Let us read the question further. On the other side, the marketing manager is emphasizing on increasing the sales and proposes to further extend the credit period to three months. It is expected that sales will increase by 20% of current level, but bad debts will be 10% of total sales. The company has three alternatives. Alternative one, continue with existing credit policy of two months credit. Alternative two, accept the proposal of finance manager and reduce the credit period to one month. Alternative three, accept the proposal of marketing manager and increase the credit period to three months. Advise the company on the best of the alternatives, considering that cost of funds is 15% per annum. All right, friends. So let us look into how to present the solution over here. In your solution, you will obviously make a comparative profitability statement this time with three columns for the three alternatives that is alternative one, alternative two and alternative three. You mention the credit periods for each alternative, then mention the total sales, then the total amount of variable cost and the total amount of fixed cost. I have already told you that fixed cost in each column will be 18 lakhs. Cost of goods sold will be aggregate of variable and fixed cost. Additional cost of collection, the question is silent about that. Cost of funds blocked, definitely I am going to show you the workings of these uh, three and bad debts. So you can see under alternative two, the bad debts are getting reduced substantially. When you look into the net benefit, under alternative two as well as alternative three, the profit is increasing as compared to alternative one, but the highest amount of profit is achieved under alternative two. So alternative two will be the best alternative. Let us move ahead and write up those important workings with respect to cost of funds blocked at present. That will be alternative one. So funds blocked at present will be 54 lakhs into two by 12. That is nine lakhs. Because the cost of funds to the company is 15%, you will compute 15% of 9 lakhs. I have been telling you quite a few times that if you want, you can have a direct calculation of 1,35,000. That is by taking the total cost of goods sold into credit period by number of months in the year, that is 2 by 12, and then directly multiply 15%. So you will not get this amount in between. You will directly get 1,35,000 but that can be done. So if you are presenting your workings that way, I have absolutely no problem. You will end up saving some time because initially I wanted you to understand that how to compute funds blocked and then compute cost of funds blocked. But in examination, this 9 lakh figure is not needed. In examination, when you are solving question, this is the calculation. So if you apply that kind of shorter version of calculation, you directly compute the cost of funds blocked and that will be 50 lakh 40,000 into 1 by 12 into 15 percent and that will give you 4 lakh 20,000 into 15 percent that comes to 63,000 and for alternative 2 it will be finally 2 lakh 29,500. Let us move ahead and write up the conclusion. So what conclusion you would write over here? Implementing any of the proposal is resulting into increased profits. However, profits can be maximized by implementing the proposal of finance manager for one month credit. Therefore, the company should implement the reduction in credit to one month. This will increase the overall profit by rupees 
60,300 as compared to the present level. Let us move ahead and take up the next question that will be question number 8. Let us read this question. The credit manager of ABC company has to decide on a proposal for liberal extension of credit which will result in slowing process of the average collection period from 1 to 2 months. The company's product was sold for rupees 20 per unit of which rupees 15 represented variable cost including credit department cost. The current actual sales amounted to rupees 24 lakhs represented entirely by credit sale. The average total cost per unit was rupees 18. The relaxation in credit policy was expected to result in a 25% increase in sales that is rupees 30 lakhs annually. The corporate management aimed at a return of 25% on additional investment. Now look at this line friends, look at this line. This time they did not tell you the cost of funds blocked is 25%. Instead they are aiming at 25% return on additional investment. So if your money is getting blocked, you will lose the opportunity of earning 25%. That will be basically an opportunity cost of capital eventually. To compute your cost of funds blocked, you are supposed to take 25% only. You are required to make relevant calculations to help the credit manager in examining the financial implication of liberalizing the credit policy. Now this question is indeed a very very simple question. So let us just look into how to present the solution for the same. Comparative profitability statement you will have only two columns this time, present and the given proposal, credit period 1 month and 2 months, total sales 24 lakhs and 30 lakhs, total variable cost 18 lakhs and 22 lakh 50 thousand, total fixed cost in both columns will remain same. So cost of goods sold 21 lakh 60 thousand and 26 lakh 10 thousand, cost of funds blocked 45 thousand and 1 lakh 8 thousand 750 Question does not give you any information about bad debts at all. Your net benefit will be 1,95,000 in the present column and in the proposed column it will be 2,81,250. Let us move ahead and write up the conclusion. Accepting the proposal of extending the credit period by one month increases the overall profit by Rs. 86,250. Therefore, the proposal is worth accepting. So, please write up this conclusion. I did not show you the working for the cost of funds blocked, but I suppose you can definitely do it on your own with the experience you have got by far. 